uh, Tom with the Outdoor Cook Store uh, I want to talk to you today about um, cast iron cookware, uh, specifically seasoning your cast iron cookware. Um, if you get a good seasoning bond on your cast iron cookware, it's gonna you'll have a great nonstick um, cooking utensil, and it's gonna last a lifetime. So seasoning is uh, is the first step of uh, caring for your cast iron cookware to make it last a lifetime. So anyway, what I have here, I've got a 14 inch cast iron skillet from Bayou Classic, uh, which incidentally you can pick up at our website, theoutdoorcookstore.com. Uh, full line of, uh, of uh, cast iron cookware in there. Um, but anyway, to get into seasoning your cookware, what you're trying to do with the seasoning your cookware is you're going to get um, a film of oil, and basically I use Crisco, uh, but you want to get a few layers in the nooks and crannies of, uh, of your cast iron, of the cast iron skillet of the metal. And what that does, it builds up a layer and bonds to that metal, leaving a nice smooth surface, which will be not only uh, give you non-stick cookware, it'll also protect against rust. So, the basic method of seasoning your skillet, use an oven, uh, get it to 300, 350 degrees, somewhere in that range. And what we're going to do is put our Crisco all over inside and out of this skillet. Put it in there for about an hour and uh, then let it cool and wipe it off and that's, that's one, one, uh, one step in the process. Basically you need to do that, I did three or four times at least. This skillet I've done twice already. It's starting to get a good, a little bit of a, a smoothness to it but not, not quite ready yet. So anyway, let me show you how this process works out. Uh, in the oven you want to put uh, you're going to put this on the upper uh, rack. You want to put on your lower rack some, some foil so that uh, there will be some drippings. Uh, so you want to sort of keep your oven clean. So basically what we do, you don't need to daub this on real thick, but you just need to rub it in and make sure you get a good even coat of Crisco. And we're going to do, like I said, inside and out. Uh, you want to you want to season the outside of your pan as well. Uh, obviously, you're not cooking on it, but that will help keep it from rusting. So, good seasoning inside and out is the way to go. So, again, you just want to do layers of the oil on here. And this is the third time I've done this pan, so uh, it's getting close. But not quite. Now, there we go. Nice, even coat inside and out. Now we will place this in our oven upside down. And we're going to let that go for an hour. Uh, let it go for an hour. And uh, it will shut off the uh, oven. Let it cool and uh, come back, wipe it down, and that's uh, one step of the process. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I uh, let's, uh, I baked this at 350 for an hour. Um, let it cool a little bit. It's still going to be so hot, but uh, and you can see there's some glistening. But it's getting there. Pan's getting there. Three, three uh, uh, times I've seasoned this, so it's, it's pretty close. I'm going to wipe off any excess oil. And that's getting there. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to want to do this one more time. To tell you the truth, it's, it's looking pretty good, but I think I want to do it one more time to get a real thorough seasoning on there. Um, anyway, that, that's pretty much it. You want to do that process three or four times. The other thing you can do to help speed up the process, if uh, you want to cook in that, cook some bacon. Fry up some bacon. Uh, it's a real greasy, oily food, uh, and that, that'll help season it as well. Um, 
So that's pretty much it for seasoning. Again, do that three, four times. Uh, you should get a good bond there. Um, and once you've got that good seasoning bond there, and you, you're going to have a nice um, non-stick uh, uh, utensil, you've got to treat it like a non-stick pan. Okay? So when you're uh, using any cooking utensils in there, use a, a, you know, plastic or wood utensils to stir and what have you. You don't want to scrape off any of that seasoning bond that you have created on there. Um, the other thing, uh, don't ever put it in a dishwasher, okay? The way I clean a, a cast iron skillet, uh, when I'm done cooking, I just put some hot water in there and throw it out. If, if there's any stuck on food, I use a, uh, a stiff bristled brush with some hot water and, uh, and just scrub it off. Then what I do, you know, throw out, then, then I'll wipe it down with, uh, with, um, paper towels. Put it back on the burner on low to medium heat and make sure all the moisture, you make sure you get all the moisture out of this before you put it away and store it. And then what I'll do is just pour a little bit of oil on a, on a uh, paper towel, rub that in, a thin, just a thin coat, rub it on the inside, let it cook off for a minute or two, and um, that's ready to put away and store. Uh, so. There you have it. Uh, I hope that's helped. And uh, as long as you uh, take care of your cast iron skillets and cast iron cookware, that stuff will last a lifetime, or several lifetimes, actually. So, um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And uh, visit our website, theoutdoorcookstore.com, for uh, all your outdoor cooking needs and uh, get all your uh, cast iron uh, cookware there. So, thanks, and we'll see you next time.